they, well, they destroyed the tournament record. Right. Yeah. On day two. On day two. <laughs> they almost had the record day one for the total total attendance record. Three more days left. The yeah. Huskers so showing up. Exactly. And unfortunately, Nebraska doesn't get to play today, which no. I mean, it's a good thing. They, they're 2 0, so yeah. they get the day off. But man, it's going to be so nice. Oh, today. it's going to be nice today. <laughs> some nice baseball weather for today. Uh, even nicer, I'd say, in some spots right now. We are cooling off a little bit. Thin high clouds pushing in here. There are a few showers and storms showing up on radar well west and south of the area. So, yeah, as we start off the day, thin clouds here and there. We'll see some sunshine. I think we lose a little bit of that sun heading into this afternoon, but overall, we're warm. We're pleasant. We have light winds for today. And then, really, the rest of the seven day forecast has some sort of chance of rain in there every single day. But we'll talk more about the holiday forecast uh, in a second here. So, some more showers, a couple of storms. They're moving across the Texas Panhandle, Oklahoma Panhandle. Little tiny upper level disturbances in here. They haven't quite reached us just yet. But as this unsettled pattern kind of sets itself over the central U.S., that's when we see this chance of showers and storms, really just scattered ones over and over again, starting late tonight, early tomorrow morning, just kind of carrying into the end of next week. For travel purposes, not really looking too bad around here today. Big upper level low is just swirling around in the southwest, but on the eastern side of that low, it's just ejecting these tiny little disturbances, and you see these scattered showers and storms, and that's what we have on tap for us through most of the holiday weekend. Just chances of storms in there. I think Sunday will be our best chance for some rain. So, like I said, just a few thin clouds, light wind right now, north northwest at about six miles per hour. So we're comfy at 48 in Fort Dodge, 58 in Sioux Falls, 61 Hastings, 60 in Kansas City, 65 in Salina. So no major um, features here, no big fronts or anything where we see very cold air on one side, very warm air on the other. Here's store predictor through the rest of today. Still looking good this morning and this afternoon. I think we will see a few more clouds, but notice the rain, any scattered storms staying well to the west. And to the south. I'd even be shocked if we saw sprinkles for the far southern edge of the viewing area. Later on tonight, a slightly better chance for that happening. This is 7 a.m. as we head into Saturday. We'll zoom in here because I do think we see a chance of a scattered shower or storm Saturday afternoon. Probably not widespread, but yes, a little bit of rainfall in there. Only have us at a 30% chance of rain tomorrow, but I bumped that up to 50% on Sunday and back down to 30 for Memorial Day. So chances of rain in there, but 30% chance of a shower or thunderstorm. I wouldn't necessarily cancel outdoor plans over that. 64 with some clouds this morning. Just a few clouds, though. More clouds this afternoon. We are close to 80, 72 increasing clouds for 9 o'clock tonight. Now, it looks worse than it is, really. Lots of chances of some rain in here. Now, we are at that 50% chance on Sunday. Back down to 30 for Memorial Day. We keep it right around there through much of next week. But a very typical spring forecast where you see some heat, you have a little bit of moisture in the air, and you see a shower or thunderstorm pop occasionally during the afternoon. Wow, almost 80 the whole way across. Yeah, so we're, we're warming up. So it's really more of a summer-like forecast. That's amazing. <laughs> I like you.